don't hurt me no more. Hey, I hope you're doing great. This is the EART EGLP 610 in Satin Honey Tea. And before I forget, this video is sponsored by Art, and they sent me this guitar to check out and keep and review and demo, so huge thanks to them. But as always, this is my video, my own opinions. They didn't have any say and what goes into what you're about to see. Hold on a sec. I'll make sure I got that right. Yeah, we're good. We are solid. Okay, E-A-R-T, Ert, Art, Guitars. All right, let's check it out. Clearly, it's a Les Paul inspired, right, model. Nobody's reinventing the guitar these days, am I right? I mean, you can try, but. So what do they add that makes this unique? First thing is their fret work. It's, it's always been consistently the best. And they say it's stainless steel frets. They're super smooth and they're rounded on the ends. I'll do some close-ups so you can see that. And that's been the case with all the Ert guitars that I've demoed. Am I saying it wrong? Let me know. I think it's Art. It's Art to say it wrong. Let's go top to bottom and we'll uh, hear this thing. But uh, if you want to get one, I also have affiliate links in the description. You can check that out after. Okay, starting top to bottom, we got one to 18 ratio tuners and they are smooth. They feel really good. I like the way these feel. Then we start with uh, a roasted Okum neck. Now, if I'm saying that word wrong, that's on purpose because I can't read. 24.75 inch scale length, rosewood fretboard with fan inlays. I'm gonna say these are Wi-Fi symbols because that's what the, the kids more hip with it that's what the kids are saying these days the radius is a compound radius 9.5 inch to 14 so it gets flatter as you go down lower 22 medium jumbo stainless steel frets as i mentioned before stainless steel book matched roasted okum thin body it is thinner it's a slim it's like a little bit thicker than a, an sg not as thick as a les paul and it has a tummy cup Remember that? two eart on nico two humbuckers three-way switch volume tone controls, two pneumatic bridge, and a stop bar tailpiece. It's all really nice. It's a solid looking guitar. Now I'll throw it up on my scale. I don't mean I'll vomit. I mean, I'll place it gently on my weight scale. Seven pounds, 2.9 ounces, or 3.257 kilos. Very light. So here's a pickup resistance measurement. You got the neck, you got the neck and bridge, and then you got the bridge. And here's some quick neck measurements. It's a slim neck. It's wide, you know, 42 millimeter nut, approximately. Okay, we're gonna pull it open. The little panel on the back, take a look inside. You can see the wiring here, it's got the PCB switch. It's got full size pots. Let me know what, if you know what this company is. It's not a name I'm familiar with. I've seen it before. It, everything feels good. The switch does feel cheap, like a PCB usually does, but the, the pots are nice and smooth. So there's the specs, let's hear it. And uh, let's hear it for the guitar. Good job, guitar. Baby, don't hurt me. All tones today are going to be captured with the Sennheiser E906 microphone, and it's capturing this Princeton Blue, the 12 inch Celestian Blue speaker. Let's go.
Okay, you got to see it and hear it. I'll tell you what I think about it. And uh, I, I think about it every night. No, I don't. You know what I mean? I definitely recommend it, is what I'm trying to say. Every single EART guitar, you notice I'm saying it different every time I say it. Every art guitar that I've tried has been really good. They've all been really good. So here's my pros and cons. Let's start with some pros. Fit and finish, it's flawless on this guitar. Um, the last one I had had like a little crack in the neck, but this one is flawless. Frets are awesome. I like the uh, truss rod plate that has a little flip open thingy. And uh, the tuning is fine. Setup was good from the factory, like really good. I like the Wi-Fi inlays. They call them fan inlays, but we're calling them Wi-Fi inlays, so go with it. Looks unique. The pots and switch feel fine. I did mention the switch. You can tell when it's a PCB. It's a little weaker feeling. But overall, the hardware feels good. Smooth tuners. The angled uh, switch is nice. I like having it on the an angle instead of straight down like that, usually like on a telly. Good tones from the pickups. Everything sounded pretty good. I don't know how it sounded in the recording yet. People in the comment section can let me know how they sound. And uh, the satin neck is nice and smooth. It's lightweight, no neck dive. Satin finish overall is really nice. A um, Couple little cons. The T in the EART with this, you can't see it. What are they doing? It's like invisible. So it's an ear guitar, sorry. And because it's red, right? It's like, you can't see it and the cheap PCB switch. So, so there you have it. Let me know what you think about this guitar and art guitars in general. And uh, as always, play guitar and have fun. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Hey, what's that sound? Is that me? Am I that good? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Ooh, I, I, I. Which one are you? You are you.